Shalom, 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 Israel, man. First of all, I want to give you a praise to the Most High. Yahweh Bashem, Yahshah, man. Yeah, man, today is going to be a quick breakdown lesson, man. Basically, um, we touched on, um, basically, um, the slothful, wicked man speaks foolishness and has no understanding. Yeah, man, because that, even when, when you're in the truth, man, you can get slothful, man, that might be doing a um, hard, um, week at the plantation man working Monday Monday to Friday man and basically on 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 the day after um the plantation when you go home man you might kick your feet up in it and you might be trying to get into the, read your um your precepts and read your scriptures in it and that um slothful demon might jump on you in it and basically might cause you to fall asleep, cause you not to um get your chapters in it. Yeah man, so that so um so um Brothers and sisters, in the truth, you need to pray fast, repent, man, and basically, if um, if every time you're coming on for work and basically you're getting that um slothful demon, you need to um rebuke that demon, man, and basically um do a fast, man, or ask the Most High, man, to basically um get that demon off you, man, so you can get into your, your um your chapters in it, so you can read, man. So um, whatever the lesson, man, let me get um let me get uh. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14 For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing Whether it be good or whether it be evil man so Yeah man because that Even what the title man, the break I'm, I'm talking about basically that There's a lot of um, slothfulness man in Israel And there's a lot of um, wicked men that basically Wicked men that speak foolishness man Foolish, foolishness, and basically they don't have no understanding, man. Cause that, even um, they make this um, uh, slacky one sir. Yeah, and they make make this example in it that this um, at this Jake man, that basically that that st scoffing Jake that certain times when we are, when the high highways and barracks teaching and he likes to come up and basically scoffing it, and basically like that guy's like, I know his age, but he's basically um. He's um I won't say elder, but I say he's um he's old man. He, he should be um wise man. That's what it says. Like um, the precept says like in um figures in Job and it says something about um the um the old are not always wise in it because like age don't matter in this thing in it because when you first come to the truth, man, we're, we're basically babies in it. Like don't matter how old you are, when you first come to the truth, you're babies in it. So that like, you can't jump straight into the the meat in it because you'll start choking in it. That's what you need to start. First of all, you need to start for the milk in it. Get your um apocrypha, get your King King's James Bible, man, and get your um your Bible dictionary and get into your um your chapters and get into your precepts and um basically um don't get too ahead of yourself yourself in it. Don't be getting these them weird books, man. Don't be getting the Book of Enoch. Don't be getting all them weird um weird books, man. That's why most brothers get bugged out, man. Most brothers start to fall out of the truth and start to lose faith, man. That's why um. Stick to the basics, isn't it? Yeah, man. So um, and we get a precept about that. Basically, now like how um, the wise are not always um, or the um, the great man are not always wise, isn't it, man? Because that like, age don't mean nothing. You can be in the truth for like twenty um, twenty plus years, man, and basically not know no um, don't know when the, the when the new moons are. You don't know when when the um high holy days are. You don't know. The breakdown to the, what the precepts mean, man. So that age don't mean nothing, man. Uh, let me get Job chapter thirty-two, verse nine. Great men, men are not always wise. Neither do the aged understand judgment, man. So yeah, that's what I was saying. Thing I was saying before, man. That could be in the truth for like thirty plus years or forty plus years, man. If you not, if you don't know the dark sayings, you don't know what um, what the precepts mean, man. That that's. Obviously, you can pray to the most side for you to give you knowledge, but obviously, like, if you're, um, in the truth, like, 20 plus years, man, you don't know the dark sayings, the precepts, and that, obviously, you can ask the most side forgiveness, but, um, same time, man, um, age don't mean nothing, can it? Because, um, I get a lot of times, like, when we, we're out the highways and by a teacher, man, that like, older Jake might, might come up to us and say that, um, we try to show them what it means, and they try to say, oh, you can't teach me nothing, man, that like, have that old man got that old old man spirit on them and they think they got, they're stuck in the old ways man like they're stuck in the old bottle man yeah you don't want to come up the old ways man they think that because we're um 
we're younger than we're younger than um him, you know, thinking we, that we can't teach enough, nothing, man. That's how, that's how, that's how curses on my people as well, man. They always think that um because you're old, man. So it's like, it's like a, that um the um precept um said, man. That basically, the great man are not always wise, man. Neither do the age understand judgment, man. That, that um the pro- the prophecies that that come to pass, man. That most um great men, most most old men don't um understand judgment, man. That because that can be um studying the Bible for so many years, can be in the truth for so many years, when you don't you you don't um certain brothers might not understand what the judgment means, and when when they um read the precepts, man. That's why that's why um. So it's so on a prior phrase it's pretty, that's what that's what it says, um you've got to study to um show that show thyself approval, man. And basically same time you gotta work out your self your own salvation as well, man, 'cause that could be in the camp man, like so many brothers and that um keep getting knowledge and understanding, but at the same time when a brother goes goes home from the camp and it goes home he's back by himself and then only um the most I, only the most I, slacky, only the most I knows what he's doing, man, 'cause that be with so many brothers like a big camp and like, getting holy holy per knowledge when asking your brothers for knowledge like um like it says man that like, iron sharpens iron and it could be getting um all of that man that like, it's like a, yeah it could be getting all all of that man that like, getting um slacky like once so. yeah basically um iron could be sharpened iron man when you're camping that like, but obviously when you go home from from camping that like, that that brother might 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 not be also, you won't might not not be reading, but you might not might not be um um just trying to think of the word, man. Might might not be well knowledge than might not be um. I'm trying to think of the word. Slacky, one sec, it slipped out my head. Yeah, a brother in the camp, might, a brother in the, in the camp might be well st- studied studied than him in it, and he might not you. He might not know all of um the the um, the good not to say good precepts might not know all the precepts in it and all the breakdowns and all the parables in it. That's why um that's what you got to keep on reading, reading and fasting man and basically repenting and asking the more side for more faith man more um understanding in this truth man because like don't matter if you got um if you can break down um the precepts better than a brother don't matter man don't matter if you can um. Basically, um, read it better than the brother, man. It's like it says, man, that um, when one or two gather together, man, this paraphrase is not precept, man, that and iron sharpens iron as well, as well, man. So that if a brother can't um understand a precept, then you might go to the other brother asking for for understanding in it, so you can get them, um, so you can um understand that precept or, or like break down properly, man. Yeah, man. So it says, man, that, um, so um, if um. In if not a, it's not a bad thing as well, man, because cause you're older, man. Because you're older, and you don't understand the precept. Man. It's not um, it's not a bad thing, or it's not a bad thing to go to a younger brother to get um, to get understanding, and because like you might not understand that precept, you might not understand what the um that judgment precept means, and you might might be on on the um, I don't think of the world like when you're in the world, you don't don't want to go, don't ask for help in that. Like basically um. Uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of the words like here. Yeah, you've got that like, pride spirit in them, innit? Certain um certain older older Jake's got that like, that um that they're stuck in the old ways, they've got that like, pride spirit that pride spirit on them, innit? They don't want to ask for help in it, like just because uh, my brother might be well studied and um that, that old older Jake might still have that um that prideful spirit in them and they don't want to ask for help in it, man. But that's the way it goes sometimes, certain um Younger Jakes are um are well studied than um older Jakes in this truth, man. That's 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 just the way it, the way it is, isn't it, man? Not all all all, all um not all um the older Jakes, man, but some younger Jakes are well studied than um the um the older Jakes in it that that are uh, that are kind of still in the truth in it. Might be still fresh in the truth in it, but if um brothers are still got that prize prideful spirit, don't matter if you're old, young man. You need to repent, man. Pray fast, repent, man. Ask the most side to get that prideful, that prideful, that prideful, slothful spirit off you, man. So let me get a, another piece of it, man. This breakdown ain't ain't gonna be too long, man.
Yeah, I'm basically on my, um, let me get his precept in. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and special, if any provide not for his own, and specially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worse worse than an infidel man basically if you don't if you're in the truth man, don't matter if you're fresh in the truth or just come to the truth or you're, or you're been in the truth for a couple of years man like, if you're in the truth man like, um, you know a hero is like man it's laws and stuff laws and commandments you got to be keeping man like. so if you're in the truth man and you're not providing for your own house man or your, your own children man or basically providing for your own house man you're basically worse than an infidel man if you're at home sitting down man not working man not having got your own business man you're sitting down on the couch all day just watching netflix man watching tv all day man you're basically worse than an infidel man you're basically worse than an either man man you don't want to be worse than an either man it's truth man man that's why um brothers might be our brother might be trying to might be um finding it hard to find a job man you um, might be um trying to search for a job man and you can't find a job man but you can't just be sitting in the arse all day you gotta basically ask them on site so you can show you so you can find your job or basically just keep on searching man but you can't just be sitting on your arse all day but don't do nothing man that's basically you're worse than an infidel if you're not providing for your your family or your household man that's off as well man because when you um even if you're um if you've got um a rib in it or you've got um a wife in the truth man you have to be providing for um Providing for her, and that if you've got children, you've got to be providing for your children as well, man, because uh, a man's basically the provider, isn't it, man? So, um, let me get another precept in, man. Before I get another precept in, let me, um, let me read what basically slothful means, man. Slothful means lazy. Let me get another, um, point for what it means, uh, Discussion of slothful, lazy, indolent. Slothful mean not easy, aroused to activity. Lazy suggests uh, disclination to work or to take trouble. Indolent suggests a love of ease and a dislike of movement. See that? Or activity. Slothful empowers a temperamental in ability inability to act promptly or speedily when action or speed is called for see that man straight to the point man slothfulness basically means lazy man you don't want to like put in the work you don't want to, um, like it says in the world man if you don't work you don't eat man so that if you're um, slothful if you're lazy man you're not going to be able to eat man you're not going to be able to provide for your family if you're sitting in the house all day 24-7 man that's office all man so let me get um our precept in. Uh, actually, let me get another um some another, another bits of what slothful means. Uh, see that not willing to work or use effort, madness. Slacky. He's lazy. Not slacky. Lazy. He's one of the laziest people I've ever met. Indolent. Some of the clocks. So wait, let me read the last bit and I'll get another piece of it. Slothful means television and video games have bred a generation of slothful teens, man. Yeah, basically, slothfulness, sloth, slothfulness basically means lazy, man. Don't want to do no work, man. And then we get, um, get another piece of it. Book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. Yeah, man. So, brothers in the truth, man. man. Don't matter if, um, bro might be knowing the, the most precepts and you might be doing the best breakdown videos better than you, man. You can't be, at the same time, you can't be putting com confidence in men, man. You need to be put, putting trust in the most high, man. Because if you're, um, thinking that, um, it's like a, if you put in confidence in men and you're not putting confidence in the Most High, you're going off, man. Because the Most High says, man, the Most High is above all of us, man. With us, um, the, um, dust and ashes on the earth, man. That's why you need to put faith in the Most High first. 
And not to be put on confidence in men, man. Because men, what? Men on earth, man, man. Just um, dusters and ashes, man, man. That's it, man. So if you, if a brother can't, if he's not really good at precepts, he's not really good at reading, man. Just pray to the most high for um, more faith. Pray to the most high. Or pray fast and repent, man. Ask the most high to that, basically. Put that spirit in you one day, man. To, to be able to remember precepts and, and to be, to read mightily and to basically, um, Belt and um, basically um break down, break down precepts in it. Yeah, so let me get another precept in. Uh, get a couple of more, more on the wind down. It's gonna be too long. John chapter 14 verse 15 If you love me, keep my commandments, man Yeah, it's simple, man If you love the most high, man Keep his commandments, man Because like, certain people like, um, In the truth, man Not just in the truth, man In the world, man like, Say they love the most high But you're not keeping no commandments, man like, They're hating that brother, man They've got that envy spirit They've got that red eye spirit man. And certain ease in the truth as well, man like, Certain ease, man like, Obviously that um, her, her friend might be Um Having um got a husband in her. He used to, has a husband as well, but still she might be upset that like, shall we say that um oh, she, that Eve um she got better fringes than me, better um dresses or fringes got better fringes than me and basically that like, got that um that jealousy spirit on her, like, basically that like, um upset and like, you've got the ups you've got the um hatred spirit on you and you need to um pray to the most side to get it out of you man, cause, like when you know, when the last days man you ain't got time for all that all that um that folly, man, it's all off, man. Just praise the most high to get that spirit off you, man. You ain't got time for all that folly in this truth, man. Like. And especially when we're living in the end, of the end times, man. Yeah, man. Let me get. Uh... Yeah, certain. I'm gonna say one thing, one more thing as well, man. Like, you notice as well, man. Like, one time, like, not one time, I like, notice as well that like, basically certain you say that like, they love the most high. Like, Keep up with the commandments, but like that, um, that precept, that precept about not, not precept, but um, it's basically um, that thing about um, Alice, isn't it? Like how um, basically the com the umbrella thing, isn't it? And basically um, certain Eve um said it following all the commandments, like basically, but they're still following the way of the heathen, isn't it? Cause that, like, cause um, I'm not, um, put this, I'm not gonna put this even blast, but obviously I see some some thing on Instagram, isn't it? and it's even like oh she's got. When the fringes and that she um basically um she's got a head wrap wrap, wrap it's like she's got she's got a head wrap and all that all that stuff but still man that like, she's basically got them long long ass eyelash, eyelashes on in it and basically that like, I want to say no more on that man it's like basically certain eves like the cats kind of hypocrites in the truth in it because like they're saying that they want um a proverb they're, they're a pro proverbs woman in it but obviously they're still got a harlot spirit on them in it because like they want to be putting on um. Weaving that man, blowing out the air, and some eaves as well. And the truth and that, they want to be um, still be wearing trousers, man, and be getting um, what else um, basically, yeah, basically wearing that long ass, long ass eyelashes, and basically I'm um, getting some long ass nails, man. Looking at got that card, card, Cardi B spirit on, got that Cardi B spirit on them, man. Off as well, man. So let me get get three more on the wind down, man. Uh, Um, get Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14 For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment for, With every secret thing Whether it be good or whether it be evil man So yeah man So whatever brothers or sisters do in, in, um, 
in the world right now, man. And brothers and sisters, the truth also, man. If you're doing something good, man, if you're doing something bad, man, that like, if it's gonna be um if it's gonna come to the past when the Mosai returns, man, that like, all that wickedness you might be doing, all that, you might have that slothful spirit on you, might have that um the envy spirit on you, you might have that red eye spirit and that like, you don't wanna um like, hate your brother on that and ease might be having that um that the um jealousy spirit like um how um she might um hate hate um she might be jealous jealous of have a friend because she's got a, she's got a husband and the other Eve ain't got a husband and that yeah man so like if everything's be gone everything what happens on earth man everything's everything's gonna be shown to pass when the Mosai returns on earth man that's what it says that like, the Mosai says it's gonna return as a thief in the night so no one's gonna no one's gonna know when he's gonna return that's why everyone everyone on the tree man especially you need to get um need to get um make sure you're on point man make sure um keeping the law of and commandments not not and not to be having that sloth, slothful spirit on you man because that we ain't got to be time obviously we make we, we, we make mistakes um here and then but obviously like obviously we've got flesh fleshful bodies in it we've got earthful bodies in it that's why we, we still make mistakes but obviously that's why the monsters gave us um that's the monster and let us um not slack it that's the monster um Basically, like, die for our sins in it, so we can basically repent in it. Even though, um, even though we're not, um, we're not perfect in it, we still that's the way you still can repent, man. That even the truth, man, you might make mistakes in that, but as long as you repent, man, pray fast, repent, man. More so, the more so will forgive you, man. Yeah, man. So let me get another one in. Yeah. I will prove it. So that certain, um, certain um brothers and sisters, man, they say they saying the truth, man, but. Not keeping no commandments, not keeping no feast days, basically not. They don't wanna um, don't wanna um, basically um, unite together, man. Don't do unity camps. Don't do um, none of that stuff, man. Most that says mean to repent from all your sins, man, and basically not be having that red eye against your brothers or sisters in the truth, man. Yeah, man. So let me get Acts chapter three verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When he, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the of the Lord, yeah, man. So that is that the truth. Me to pray fast, repent, man, and be converted, man. That your sins may be blotted out, man. If you doing, if if you just came to the truth, man, and you be doing a holy bit of wickedness, then ask the Most High to forgive you when you first come to the truth, man. Because that like, everyone that come come to the truth, man, and you all had a past on us, man. That's why we. That's why we're praying, man. We're, we're fasting, man. We're basically repenting, man. Ask, ask the Most High to basically f forgive our sins, man. Cause like, even me when I come to the truth, man. Before I came to the truth, I was doing holy pure wickedness as well. But all praise to the Most High, man. I came to the truth at the right time, man. So yeah, man. so the Most High said, man, repent, ye therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, man. And the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, man. So. Most I say we still can repent, man. Ask the most I to blot out all our wicked sins and all the wickedness we'll be doing in the women's in the world, man. Let me get another crease up in. Uh, yeah, because it got certain um scoffers and um highways and buyers, man, saying that um oh um that like Jake might be might have a title on him when he's teaching the highways and buyers, the guy saying that um, might that uh, might um. Let's say why why you got to, why you got a tattoo on if you're basically if you're um if you're um if you're in the truth and that man but this 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 is this the 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 priest that basically it's the priest priest that basically um let's um let's a bro know that basically um how um let me let me bring out my the paraphrase of priests book of Acts chapter seventeen verse thirty and the times of the ignorance Yahweh winked at but now command of all men everywhere to repent man so that in the past in the past man in, when you was in the world man before you came to the truth man you might, you might have had a tattoo man you might be dealing with a lot of women in the truth not a slacker you might be dealing with a lot of women when you was in the world man you might be you might have that um that sex demon on you you might have that um wicked spirit on you man you might have that um that hating hating your own brother spirit on you, you might have that um yeah that wicked spirit on you man like might be doing a holy but wickedness might be might have, might have that gambling spirit on you. Might have that um, well, if that gym spirit spirit on you as well, man. When you're in the world, man. But when you come come into the truth and that man, basically ask the most side to basically um, 
to basically forgive you for all your sins, basically, innit, man? That's what the most I said, man. At the times of the, of this ignorance, Yahweh winked at, but now command of every man, it's like a nut, but now command of all men everywhere to repent, man. So now we're re repenting for our sins, man. That basically getting rid of that, getting rid of that old man, man. Trying to come when you come to the truth, man. Trying to be a new man, not not trying to be the same old man when he's in the world, man. Because that old man is the old man is wicked, man. He's doing a whole lot of wickedness. That's where. So grateful the most I put me into the truth at the right time and so like I'm trying to repent for my sins and basically get rid of the old man man and try and try put on that, that new man man. So let me get one priest after that and I'll wind down. It's the book of Luke chapter 16 and start from 13. No servant can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to, to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and man. A man, as I say, man, man. I think, they, I think he typed it wrong on this website. It's basically a figure says he meant, um, you cannot serve Yahweh or man, basically, isn't it? Let me, let me type, and I'll sit, let me, I'll type that piece up in again, and I'll see if, I will not be, be saying the wrong piece up wrong. Let me type it and see if it comes up. Let's see how it Oh, yeah, it was right. It was slack here. Luke 16, verse 13. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Yeah, man, it's basically saying, man, you can't be serving man. You can't be serving the most high, man. You can't be, be lovers of the world, man, because like, people, people in the world today, but they're still not, you know, working in the land of just want to do happy hour after the... um. After work, man, you know, go to the um party, you no, know, go to the um. Basically, go to um the parties or go to wherever you go, man. Go to the um. The um clubs, man, and basically get drinks, man, for everyone, man. That basically, but when you're in the truth, man, you can't be doing happy hour, man. When you um leave the plantation, so if it's a Friday, man, and basically the Shabbat's about to kick in, man. That um, either man, you're working, man, you might ask you, you do you, um um, I'm Tyrone, man, you might do you wanna go to um. I'm gonna go to the club tonight, man. I'm getting drinks for everyone, man. You gotta be a man about this thing. You gotta say la ah, man. Not say la out him, but basically say no, man. Say you can't, man. You gotta don't say you're keeping a shabbat. Don't say you're gonna be um be gonna be out there in the house and by trying to wake up people, man. Say that basically. Say you're gonna be busy, man. Say you're gonna be studying or something, man. Just make up something, man. Don't be telling them heathens what you're doing, man. It's like when you're in the truth, man. You gotta be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. You can't be telling everyone your business, man. Yeah, man, so, let me, before I close up, man, let me, um, uh, I break, I to type in what does, um, foolishness mean, man, because a lot of, um, a lot of people in the truth think they're, they're wise, man, but they're really fools, man, they don't study to show, to show that self-approved, man, that's why, um, that's why certain, um, People, certain brothers in the truth be, be pushing out where doctors, man, how how heathens can be saved, man. No, either either man's can't be not to be saved, man. And you can't be making marriages with the heathen either, man. And yeah, man, it's, I don't even touch onto that. Um, what, what what I see, what doctors I see, man, nowadays, man, some weird doctors, man. I don't even, want to even touch onto it, man. Like, even some, the other day, man, I see some doctrine about raping. You can't be raping no um, women, man. That's office. Oh, you meant to be caught him and like proving the woman first man before you sleep with her man so you know what you're, what you're getting yourself into man and also man i see another doctrine as well man how um how um basically pros pros prostitutes are basically clean man so officer how can pros prostitutes be be clean man that make no sense at all man so i even get into all of them weird doctrines man. when i break i just want to type in what does um foolishness mean man because uh, a lot of um brothers or sisters in the truth man don't don't be not, don't be, um, don't be, um, slacky. Love, um, brothers and sisters in the truth, man. Don't be, um, don't know what basic foolishness mean, man. Because that, and you don't take account for what, what they be saying, man. 
because like the word is the word of the mouth is wicked, man. Let me read this, man. Um, basically, foolish foolishness means. I don't know if you can see it. Man. Can see it man. Foolishness means lack of good sense or judgment. Stoop, stoop, stoop. It's like a lack of good sense or judgment. Stupidity. She was realizing the foolishness of her of her actions. Uh, go to one more bit. Like, what does it mean to be foolish? Foolishness is nonsense or stupidity. It's acting in a way that is silly or irritational for in a temper. See that? that basically acting like a um, child man. Uh, tantrum because the lunch line is moving slowly is pure foolishness. Your outbursts won't make the line move any faster when your actions shown looks like it when your actions show a lack of good sense or solid judgment you're betraying your foolishness man because that like, even a lot of people in the world man like these big men man like they want still act like little kids man they want act like um little babies man like they want to um get mad man because like they might be watching a football game man and basically the team might lose in it and you start to get angry man start that's why you want to start to have them football hooligans that's what he want to do man on the fact um other people man because that like, basically the team don't win do you want to get angry and act like a little child and that acting like um little kids man and this thing man like, that's what um that's what um that's what these um people in the world are they're really um really children man they don't want to grow up man that's why even christmas when christmas pops up on it the, um that child might not don't want to celebrate christmas but the, 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 um, that man and woman man still got that um basically that child spirit and they're still so you act like a um child man that don't want to grow up man that's how um people in this world man that that not in the truth, man. You'll still act like children, don't want to grow up, man. I still got that weird, weird spirit on them, man. But it's lucky with that, man. And close that, man. Helping to be um edified, man. When you watch this video, man. So with that, man. Close up. Give a praise on the most high, man. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shalom, Kwam, Shalom.